Hi, good day and welcome to another edition of Sports Check here on Ghana Web TV. My name is Daniel Odro. As usual, I bring you another exciting and riveting interview. Today, my guest is someone who has been in and out of the Black Stars for at least the last 10 years. He also has played on the local scene and has achieved the dream of many a Ghanaian footballer by playing at the World Cup, which is considered by many as the biggest football competition in the world. He's back home and he's looking for a new club today. We explore his time uh, with the Black Stars and what he hopes to achieve by the time his career comes to an end. Uh, when we return from this break, I'll introduce my guest and we'll delve right into the conversation. Stay with us. You are welcome back from the break. My name is Daniel Ojo. You are on Sports Check on Ghana Web TV. Today, my guest is Patao Dauda. And he became famous uh, during the 2014 World Cup when um, he jubilated in, <laughs> in a fashion that got a lot of Ghanaians intrigued. He caught a uh, Cristiano Ronaldo header and jubilated as if he had scored the winning goal at the FIFA World Cup. Today he joins me on the show. We explore his time as a footballer, where it all began and where he hopes this journey will take him to. Fatal, thank you very much for your time. It's been a very long time. Very long time. Many bro. people call you Lion. The name still exists. The only Lion in Ghana football. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get the name Lion for? What does it mean? Well, uh, 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 that's Lion. I got a Lion on the pitch. You know, this name was being given me by uh, Opukwajiman or Kasumbark when I was there in Ashgood. Okay. You know, I went there to meet them. I met them in Ashgood when they were playing in the IAS Academy. Okay. And they were, they were so good. And so they, 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 they promoted them to join the senior team. So most of the time, we do play game with them, like a level aside against the academy you know those boys if you play with them you know the, how the academy boys how they play yeah i don't joke with them at all because if i know if i joke with them they're gonna embarrass me so when i'm coming on them you know how lion roars <laughs> that's how they so that's how come they they give me that name oh that's you are the lion so you are bullying <laughs> them and scaring them <laughs> anyway thank you for your time um today we want to explore your time in the local scene you have played on the african continent in south africa in nigeria and also, of course, in Ghana, and then your time with the Black Stars. But first of all, what have you been up to? Your your contract with the Yimba ended not long ago, and we're, we're hearing that you are you are looking for a new club. What have you been up to? Well, um, I've been training on my, on my own, but training on your own without playing games, you 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 lose much fitness. That's true. Luckily, uh, I have John Pencil who, who is who is training uh, Wild Stars. Wild Stars yeah. They be training at uh, Pantine Village, and I'm closer to the place. I live at uh, Lakeside. Okay. I say no, this will help me because they be playing, trying matches. That will help me. So I joined them, and as I'm speaking to you now, they, they are, they are, we, are, we are talks is still going on. If the offer is good for me, and nothing has come up for me to move out, it's possible I will play for a while start and play in the local league this season. Okay. So, Fatal, for someone who's played in the South African PSL, for the Nigerian League, of course, you've played for the Black Stars for many years. Can Wild Stars pay you? <laughs> That's an interesting question. You know, if you're a player and you, you play in the local scene before, mm -hmm. and then you went out and come again, you must use wisdom. You must know the local league, the local clubs, the owners are doing well. You can't compare, when it comes to a uh, 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 financial issue, you can't compare Ghana to Nigeria. Let's forget our South Africa, South Africa yeah. far advanced. Yeah. Nigeria, all the clubs, is being financed by the state government. Okay. So it's the government who is paying the clubs compared okay. to Ghana. Okay. The individuals who are owning the clubs, let me say it will be like 90%. Yes. And they are using their own money, their own pocket money to pay the players, the officials, so you can see how difficult it is. Mm -hmm. So for me, to go enjoy at least something better in Nigeria, expecting to come and enjoy in Ghana, mm -hmm. I know it will be difficult. I'm trying to be yes. unfair. Um, you're still here on Sports Check on Ghana Web TV. My name is Daniel Odro. I'm speaking with Fatah Odawda, Black Stars goalkeeper. He's been in and out of the Black Stars. Played his first major tournament for the national team in 2008 when Ghana hosted the AFCON, even though he was not the first choice goalkeeper, he went on to play at the 2013 Africa Cup of Nations, went to the 2014 World Cup, went to the 2015 Africa Cup of Nations, and also the 2017 
Africa Cup of Nations. Why well, in 2019, Enfata Odada is hoping that he's going to get a new club and relaunch his career and maybe get back into the national team. We'll go for a short commercial break. When we return, we'll continue with the conversation. Stay with us. Yeah, welcome back from the break. You're still here on Sports Check on Ghana Web TV. My name is Daniel Olo. Today I'm having a conversation with uh, Black Stars goalkeeper Fatal Dauda, who's in town, and we're having a chit chat about his career, where it has taken him to, and where he hopes uh, that when it all comes to an end, he'll be remembered for. Uh, Fatal, let's round up on your local adventure and then delve into the Black Stars. But I, I want to know how you feel about working for someone like John Pencil, who was, at some point was your your teammate. How difficult is it to listen to somebody who you, you have played with before? I mean, he's a coach now, he's a young coach, but how do you see him? What are his coaching beliefs? And is it difficult to work under him? Well, uh, uh, John Pencil is a nice guy. When we were when the national team, very encouraging. He's a motivator. So I heard he had started coaching. I was saying, oh, this man can coach because when, when he was playing, he played with passion. He went to work with the uh, Kaza Chiefs, yes. with Steve Compella, who was a stand coach. He, was doing, he has learned a lot from that top coach. He's doing well. You know, when someone wants to work with you, it's very good. That means you are doing well. Mm -hmm. He knows I am. He knows how disciplined I am. He contacted me. He looked for my number. He called me. Lion, Fatah, I want to work with you. I heard you are in town. I want you to come and join my team. Let's train. Let's play games. If possible, you don't go out and then the league start, you can, I mean, join my team and then play for me. I said, no problem. Because I know, as I said earlier on, I'll get match fitness. I'll be playing some games and get, then get match fitness. A lot of players don't know this. Yeah. You can train on your own, but playing games will give you match fitness. Yeah. And then you get a sporting performance. Do you think John Penso has the potential to rise up to become, today's CK is the assistant coach. Do you think he can rise up to that point and even coach the Black Stars, see, uh, John Penso? Yes, he can. Mm. He's doing well. He's still learning, and then and and he will be an asset for the nation. CK or Dati Lamte. I remember when they were coaching yeah. Eleven Wise. We yeah. also had Eleven Wise mm -hmm. play football. Mm -hmm. It was interesting, and they are still in the game. So I think they can do well. Okay. Um, when when ex national team players return to the to the local scene, sometimes people say, "Oh, that John Ashiangbe can be." Don't you get worried about those things? <laughs> I remember when we played against us the last two weeks ago at Accra Sports Stadium. The, the, the Independent Square stands. Yeah. You know, we have some supporters there. Yeah. That's how they, I, know, I know them very well. When we came for the warm up, they would say, hey, Fatau! They were using that. You know that their language? Yeah. They were using it. I know them. I was just laughing at them. At, at the point in time, they were saying, hey, Fatau! Old man! Old Dacho! But after the game, the same people came to me, hey, Charlie, you are doing well, oh. Are looking like a young boy, I say, yeah. Sometimes you need to let something ginger you to yeah. do it. Those who came to watch the game, they saw something. As I said, I'm still getting my sporting performance. Mm -hmm. From the way I said, this generation of the Premier League, yeah. if you have experience or if you are a veteran in the league and you are focused, yeah. it's easy to make name. Although the, the young boys are running, they are playing, they are running. But luckily, I'm a goalkeeper. I need to use to my mind, yeah. try to work on my speed, reflexes, agility. I will make it. Inshallah. I will make it, Inshallah. There's a new GFA in, in place. Um, what do you expect them to do for local players? You, you have played in a national team, highest level, some of the best leagues in, in, in Africa. What do you think this new administration should do for players in the local league? Well, uh, we thank God now we have the... We are lucky the league or the ball, the, the football is going to come back soon. Yeah, yeah. What I will be happy for the new administration to do is they have to tackle on the players' welfare, especially the salaries. If the salary is good now, trust me, the league will be much attractive more than before. Because we have a lot of players in the system who don't, they can still play four or five years football, but they are, in, they, are, they are home. They feel like, no, I can't go and play for this club. How much are they going to pay me? But yeah. sometimes we are here, we'll be, see, we'll be watching Europe news on the net, players going to club, cutting off their salary to get playing time, to get, because I can, start, I can come and play in the local league and then I can get a big offer. Yeah. Because yeah. definitely I know there will be a TV right or something like that and then mm -hmm. the league will be 
all over. Mm -hmm. So if you are doing well, no no agent or no football club will come up, will come for a player who's who is not playing. That's true. But the only thing is, at least the player who is sitting home needs something to feed the family. We know how the economy is yeah. now. I don't want to come into that because I'm not a politician. But we all know mm -hmm. it's very difficult. So if they can do something about the salaries, it will help. Now Clote is back playing with yeah. Olympus. Yeah. So if you are going to watch Olympus and Thailand, you know you're going to watch someone, somebody. Mm -hmm. Saka is back yeah. with Olympus. Amir, I may play for Wow Stars. Fatao, Wow Stars versus Olympus. You know you are, you are going to watch some mm -hmm. icons in the game. Yeah. You enjoy the game. How much, how much roughly is good for a local player in terms of a salary? Well, at least, mm -hmm. at least. I said earlier on, the individuals who are running the clubs are more. Yeah. But at least if they can get a sponsor and then pay, let me say, a minimum. Minimum, mm -hmm. 2,000 Ghana's minimum. Okay. Maybe for that one, is for, that one is coming from an uh, 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 academy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how much would you charge, for example? <laughs> <laughs> let me take some juice. <laughs> How much would Fatah without that charge a local club? That's what I said. I can't compare. Home. Ten thousand is okay. Ten thousand Ghana City is too small. If they give me, I'll be happy. But do you think a club can give me ten thousand Ghana City in Ghana year a salary? But that's less than two thousand. Like two thousand dollar. Very good. If if they convert it to city, they feel like it's too much. Even thousand dollar, clubs will struggle to pay. So when you thousand. consider them, how much? Seven thousand. You you charge seven thousand or eight thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's not talk about money now. Let's do it because okay. if I see now, maybe a client want to approach me, they will like, be scared. Oh, they will be scared. Okay. But it's about understanding. Okay. But if I say I want to sign two, three years contract, I must take signing on fee. But in Nigeria, they don't give signing on fee. Oh, it's in your salary. Yes, in your salary. Okay. And then there's one thing if the clubs can do in Ghana, it will help. If a player want to take a signing on fee, you can, you can, you can put those. You can divide it. I mean, you can splash the signing on fee on his salary. That's true. And That's the players, true. if they do that. And you don't know how to save, <laughs> there will be a month you get alert. You say, hey, my just be bro, a lot of money. Or you have to, I mean, save that 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 amount that has amount make your salary increase. You okay. must know that it's a money coming from your signing on fee, so you can save. Okay. But if you go and then take all, that's your problem. So you played the Black Stars ten years, give and take, in and out, from 2008 to uh, the last tournament you went to was in 2017. Yeah. So roughly ten years. How does it feel like to play for the national team? Many people say you people feel like you are doing us a favor. While in, in actual fact, the country is the one doing you a favor. When you people become stars, you don't want us to say your, your matakra. Being the national team is very great achievement. Mm. I'm telling you, they don't feel like, you know, I'm professional, I'm any big money in Europe, so you know. To be frank, the national team is doing we the player, players favor because the national team has done a lot for me in my, in my life as I'm sitting here. Even the, the, the car I go to this place, I yeah. got it from the national team. I see it's the Afcon, Afcon, Afcon car. Yes, imagine if we have won that Afcon. I'm sure the government, Ghanaians will be happy. Even the government will give us some house. house. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think Ghanaians will complain because everybody's happy. You understand? The house that I'm living in now, national team. The house I was in before I moved in, national team. So the national team has done a lot for me. And then the national team made me, I mean, got that offer from Lando Pirates. It didn't come for me when I was playing national team. They came for me when I was in, when I was playing the national team. So the national team is doing a lot of favor for us. Players can come to the national team. They will get playing time. They will sit on the bed. But you see them getting big contract. Every player want to win trophy for the nation. Yeah. But it's very unfortunate. Things is, things is like things are not going on right or something. But I know very soon. The, the national team win the trophy for the nation, I'm very sure. So if players appreciate that the nation is doing them a favor, why do they why why do they become quote unquote arrogant when they become big stars and have all the money and all the all the, the big contracts in Europe? Why why does that happen? Well I don't know. As I'm speaking to them, I'm, I'm talking about for myself. Okay. I will be happy to be in the national team again. You understand? I'm still active. I'm thirty four years. I'm a goalkeeper. There are goalkeepers up there who are even older than me that are still playing. That's As a goalkeeper, the more you play, the more you, you get experience. Mm -hmm. And goalkeeping is not only about kick and catch. There, there are a lot involved. Mm -hmm. You need to be a motivator, you need to be a captain, you need to be a, 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 a commander. A lot. You understand? So, um, 
I know what, as I'm speaking to you, I know what the national team has done for me. Yeah. So, I can't turn my back. I can't do something that <laughs> will let me be like I'm being arrogant. No, I'm not, and I'm not sure some players are doing that. I'm not very sure. Yeah. No, I'm not very sure. But you were part of the team that went to Brazil and said that if you don't give us money, we won't play. Money, you people have money, and yet you know that the national team is important. There's a World Cup game. And you are saying that you appreciate that the nation is doing your favor, and yet you say if there's no money, we won't play. I was there in Brazil and it was so. You know, uh, the, the national team, mm -hmm. if you're a national team, if you play a game, if you don't win, you won't get anything. It's the agreement between the government mm -hmm. and the players. You win, I will give you bonus. Okay. We don't bargain. We don't go to the government and bargain that. Give it. No, the government will tell that, guys, win, I will give you this money. If you don't win, you don't get anything. It's only allowance. Will yeah. You will get. You yeah. don't get anything. And then the, the money you are talking about, we didn't go to ask for the money. It was something that is there. Every every country, every nation is paying appearance fee. I know. Me for I'm there. Is the, is the figure that it was become, had become the issue. The government has said it will pay eighty two thousand. You people say you wanted hundred thousand. I'm fatal. I'm lying. I'm in my room. If you bring ten thousand dollars for that, this is your appearance fee. Even if I want to say something, I'll just take it and keep quiet. I don't know Why? because you are not a senior player. No, I'm a senior player. No, at that time in 2014. At that time, yes. Uh, we have about uh, five players in the team. Yeah. Maybe Sule, Sule. ACN, Asamoah. Yes. That's the guys who are yes. playing for the nation for them. Mm -hmm. But from there, Kevin was I started, there. Kevin, Kevin was, was there. one of the people who were creating the problem. No, 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 no. I'm not sure. You know, you are trying to push me to zero. But <laughs> what I'll tell you is, what I tell you is, for me, I know that's the money. They want to give us, mm -hmm. and they brought the money, and then I, I I took the money. So I don't know about. Yeah, after you 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 decided that you are going to threaten the whole country that if you don't bring the money, won't play. I don't know where that that is coming from because for me, at any given time, I'm in my room. If you see me outside, that means we're going for training mm -hmm. or going for a, a, a pre-match talk or something like that. You are saying you are not part so of after, the troublemakers. After, after after we came from the, I started hearing that they said it was a but I won't, I won't I won't lie to you. I don't know anything about that. Anything about that. Mm. Okay. Talk about your most memorable time in the national team. We talked about the 2014 World Cup. You came, it was a big chance to win the AFCON in 2015. What happened? It was very painful. We all saw what happened. We had an advantage during the short shootout. Yeah. We had a to, I mean, good, good, nail. good yeah. advantage. Yeah. By then, you know what happened? What, what was going through my head? Hey, Charlie, if you win this thing. Way to get the house. So I started doing calculation because two nail. It's very painful, but you know, and it's been talk, talking to like people have been talking about the penalty shootouts. Mm -hmm. it, it has been going on. I don't know, maybe you have it in your questions you ask me, but mm -hmm. I keep on saying penalty. We have some players, if they play penalty, if they say they play 10 penalties, they, they would score because of they use the right technique. The right is very important. So it's not luck. I don't see penalty shooter for now more difficult to be like because players are players are at first me the goalkeepers feel like no Fabian Bates former France goalkeeper mm. I read one his story he was saying in penalty, penalty shootout before, by then if there's a penalty shootout five kicks he makes sure he divided the two he will move three on his left mm. and then two on his right and so in this definitely you're gonna have two or three. But now the players are also learning. You understand? So when they come to the ball, they watch the movement of the goalkeeper. They will just, if you move small, they will score you. That's the intelligent players. Because the game is changing. Mm -hmm. Every day the game is changing. So, therefore, the goalkeepers will also learn something that the players are doing well. So if you are, you are not a smart goalkeeper, and you say you'll be going, you just, just guessing. Mm -hmm. If you meet intelligent players, you go there, but you, you can't save the ball. This administration, new FSA, they want to introduce the penalties in the league. Is a proposal? Do you think it's a good idea? That's what they say. If if there's a draw, there's a draw. Yeah. You play a penalty, and the winner will take two points. Yes. And then the loser will take one point. The one point. I don't know whether this has been introduced in any football association in the world. I don't know. Mm, they say in the past it was in Ghana, but that was many many years ago. That means they've done it before, so they can do it. Mm. But I don't know whether it's, it's a proposal. Yes. But it, as the club accepted it, yet? then they have to discuss and see if they, it's a good thing. Let's see. But the, what what's the what's the reason why they want to do because this? Because there's too, we are losing too many penalties. Well, at the Afcon and the World Cup in 2010. Recently, at the under 23 Afcon, 
two two games we lost on penalties. Okay, so let's assume in if the local league will be playing penalties, players players are doing well. Mm -hmm. Apart from the Chan, how many players will go and play when there is a tournament? How many local players can go and play? So you don't think it's a good idea? Well, I can say it's a good idea. At, at a time, at a certain time, I would say it's not good. The reason why I would say it's not good is the players themselves yeah. must learn. That's Ronaldo and Messi, they do their own personal training. That's true. For me, I have my I have my trademark. Apart from I have my trade that I will use it, so I will make sure that I train on it. Have That's we been important. cares as a country when it comes to penalty shootout and getting a trophy? It's not me. I don't believe it's like, it's, it's about cares. Mm. It's time for us, the players, to learn the technique. Okay. Okay. I tell you, if you learn the technique, trust me. Let me let me give you one guy, Jordan. When I was in the nation, sometimes after training, the coach will give 15 minutes for individual workout. You play penalty with me. Say, Lion, if you save one, I will give you fifty dollar. Dollar, Sunny. And he gives you. I can't you... save it. <laughs> I can't. So, Fatal, you don't you don't believe in Juju? You don't believe in players going to see some malam to do something for no, them? No, no, I don't believe. It's about training and then learning. That's all. They say you are the reason why. Uh, 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 what's the boy's name? Kwara says it's not in the national team. <laughs> you know, <laughs> get me. I pray a lot. I pray not because to perform well. I pray. For God to protect me, not to get injury. That's why I pray. If you pray, you want luck and you don't train, how can you play? It's about training, learning. As I am now, mm. I've played in the tournaments like the, the AFCON, CAF, Champions League Confederation. The only tournament I've not played is the Chan. But I'm still learning. You understand? I won't go to Pastor Omana to pray for me. I will go to pray so that I will get, I will get protected by Almighty. Do you, did you look? Did, did you the players? disrespect your coach because he was a local coach not at all that issue i'm surprised people are saying that i'm not sure a player will do that never never you know coach coach was the first person giving the platform to play for the national team 2013 mm -hmm. taking a decision a local player mm -hmm. to play in a big tournament that's my first bite they give me that platform he continued giving the platform in 2014 he went out Abraham came, he still gave me the chance, you understand? So, I don't think the players, the player will do that. This, the respect your coach, no, I'm not sure. Even the senior players, because we heard a lot of things, that the senior players were insulting him and saying that he doesn't know his job, etc, etc. When I was in the team with Coach Kusapia, I never, I mean, witnessed such issue before. When you look back, do you regret the things that happened in Brazil, that if you didn't focus too much on the money, maybe we, we would have progressed? Well, that tournament, I think, uh, is a tournament that we can do well. Well, that tournament is open, but we were unlucky. Understand? We lost against the uh, US. Yeah. We came. We nearly beat Germany. We nearly beat Germany. Mm -hmm. You understand? If, as you if we should beat Germany, the confidence will, will come back and then we will go and do well against Portugal. Yes. But we went to Portugal and then we lost that game. So it was all over for us that by then. But it was a tournament that like, we can do better than the 2010 World Cup mm. because it, it was open. But we were unlucky. Mm. We didn't even make it to uh, the next round. We lost that game, but you were celebrating when, when, when Cristiano Ronaldo's header couldn't beat you. Why? Why were you so excited? Well, uh, you know, whatever people are asking, like, people do ask me this set question, but you know, it's good. Football is a passion game. Mm. I love football. But before that game, before the World Cup, you know, we knew our group. So the players who made it to the final squad, we have to do analysis. The coach make sure that every player, every department will have something idea about the opponent we are going to meet them. Mm -hmm. So with the goalkeepers, we learn a lot. We know Ronaldo is good with set pieces and he's good with his head. So we're training, we were training on that with our goalkeepers trainer. And then that's when she came. And I saved it. So I was like, no, this, this is what we learn with our coaches. So I was like, mm -hmm. it's like when you like when you learn and go and write exams. exams. And it happened. It happened. Well, you come from exams, so yeah, exactly. you see how it is. Mm -hmm. So it's like that. Um, should we extend the contract of Kusia Pia? His contract is up in December. Many say he has got, he's got too many opportunities. He hasn't made very good use of it. Well, I keep on saying, let's love our own. Mm. You understand? Let's love our own. It's about, it's about believing in our coaches even if they are not doing well well football is like that sometimes you win you lose you draw let's just keep believing you understand 
for, for us to say let's change coach. So if another coach comes in and we don't we don't win trophy, what happened? You, you get you get what I mean. Who is your favorite player all time in the national team? During my time, yeah. I can't mention I can't mention my parts. I can't mention without mentioning ACN. I play with them. John Penter, Sule, Asamoah. They are mentioning all the players. <laughs> I don't know how they are, how they encourage. Okay. They, they do encourage me. Even Olele. Yeah. I was Olele 2008. You know, we used to be in this, this uh, first out. That's our hotel. Oh, yeah. yeah. 2008. Yeah. I remember against uh, Kodu, the third place, the, the player of the third playoff. Yes. He was injured. Sameji was injured. So Olele called me. I went to his room. He said, Fatao, I said yes. I said yes, I can keep it. But I don't know what happened because maybe you feel like that's my first time. I was young. So he, he, he fought, he managed, sacrificed, and then he went in to play with his injury. When the game was going on, if you remember, he was down and I went to do warm up. I was like, camera was on me. I was like, hey, this is my first time. I'm going to enjoy. That's the time Koja Samoa and then Arisafu, they had their time to play like some 30 seconds. And yeah. then they made, they made their able to you understand. Yeah. So yeah. I was I was unlucky that time to to play. So those those people they are fantastic. Have you made money in this in this career? Well, I thank God. I thank God. Uh, uh, and I can say, car is not asset, but as it is now, it's asset because it's still moving. If I say I should sell this car now, I'll get money. My house that I live in is an asset. Maybe I don't have fiscal cash, but at least I have asset that. The national team has given me so alhamdulillah thank god i'm thank okay god. yeah when the career is over would you look back and say i had a good career very well very well and i'm still in it who knows maybe last one year or last two years i can make heavy more than what i did yeah. it's possible that's true it's your time in the national team over your 34 are you hoping to come back into the national team that's what i'm saying i'm still active play if i'm playing and then Tenka team feel like no, they need him, they need my service. I'm ready. If you're 34, you know? you know? Yeah. Well, Wawa Stars win the Ghana Premier League. It's possible because they have done it before. They can do it. Inshallah. Now Ghana League, every team can win the league. Because Wawa Stars did it, Chelsea did it, and then uh, uh, Adriana. Uh, yeah. At Adriana. first, we know it's only us, Kotoko, Kotoko as good. As good. <laughs> but now every team can win it. They right. have done it before, so they can do it. Yeah. It's possible. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome, bro. I enjoy the conversation. Nice <laughs> my name is Daniel Odro. It's been another exciting uh, conversation here on Sports Check. Today, my guest was um, Fata Odawada, Black Stars goalkeeper, now trains with Wa All Stars. Is hoping uh, that he would have a last shout with the national team and even in the Ghana Premier League before he bows entirely from this career. It's been an exciting conversation. I hope you had a wonderful time. We're back same time next week with another edition of the show. Until then, keep well. Bye for now.